Hello everyone and welcome to Everything Cars and More. Today I am going to review the Volkswagen T-Roc. Let's go. So, the engine range starts with a 1.0 liter petrol engine which produces 113 bhp that is mated with a 6-speed manual and it feels quite nippy for the size of the car and can do 0 to 62 in 10.1 seconds. Next up is a 1.5 liter engine which has 148 bhp so again is even nippier and this can do 0 to 62 in 8.3 seconds. The fastest engine in the range is a 2.0 liter petrol model which can only be had in an automatic version but can do 187 bhp and 0 to 62 in 7.2 seconds. This engine also gains adjustable drive modes. The engine I would advise would be the 1.5 liter unit. For the diesel range it kicks off with a 2.0 litre 148 bhp engine which can be had with a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed DSG gearbox. You can also get a 1.6 litre which does 113 bhp but is the slowest here so we would advise to go for the 2.0 litre unit. Pricing starts from £20,535. So, at the front I think the Volkswagen T-Roc looks quite smart and modern and not boring. For me, it looks like a happy family car with a friendly face that I think most people will like. To start with the grille has a unique shape which I like and connects the headlights together. The headlights are halogen but can be had in LED form like what this car has. Lower down we have a lower vent which is quite big but has an illusion that it isn't. There are some fake side vents, but they house the LED daytime running lights and turn signals. Lower down we have some fog lights though if you were wondering where they were. Along the side we have a very sporty and athletic look. We have some strong creases at the front which tries to emphasize a flared front wheel arch look. Moving towards the back of the car we have a strong crease on the door line which is connected to a fake vent on the R-line models. Moving at the back the crease moves upwards again to try and emphasize a flared wheel arch look. Above that we have a strong C-pillar which has some chrome accents and above a black contrasting roof. Wheel sizes can be had from 16 inches all the way to these 19 inches which I would have because they fit the wheel arches better and they make the car look sportier. I would advise not going below 18 if you can because they would look small and it would not fit the wheel arches that well in my opinion. At the back Volkswagen have tried to make the car look as sporty as possible and for me I quite like it. I like the rear sharp crease that joins the tail lights together. It makes the car look very modern. I also like the taillight design because it is very similar to the new Volkswagen Golf and that is a very good car. We also have the T-Roc logo scented like other new Volkswagen cars. Lower down there are some fake vents that I actually don't mind because they actually make the car look sportier and also, they are trying not to be real but, on most cars, they try to make out they are real which I don't like. Above that we do have some more fake vents though. <laughs> Inside for me does feel like a let down but not in the way it is cheap, it just does not suit the car that well. I'll explain more on that in a moment. To start with the inside looks quite premium and the dashboard can be had in many different colors. It has dual zone climate control and can have a 9 inch display with a digital instrument cluster. Everything feels quite modern and this car does feel well equipped, although there are some cheaper plastics lower down. The seats are very comfy too and in higher models they can be had with fake suede like this R-Line model. The thing I don't like about it though is that it is based on the VW Polo and it can be clearly seen on the dashboard. I know this car came out in 2017 which was the same time as the Polo but for me knowing it has taken inspiration from the Polo makes me think it is cheaper than what it needs to be. If it had a slightly different layout then I would have been happier. So, sitting in the back there is enough legroom for a family SUV. There is plenty of leg and headroom and also you can just sit three people in the back. There is a good amount of storage too. The boot size with the seats up is 445 liters and with the seats down it is 1290 liters. So, in summary then I think this is a great car. It is perfect for young families who still want something that is unlike any other car and want to stand out whilst being practical. The Volkswagen T-Roc does that very well but what I get confused about is why do we need it in the first place. 
So, the Volkswagen T-Roc is Volkswagen Golf-sized but Volkswagen have another SUV called the Tiguan and this is just as good if not better because it is more premium. This car is also based on the Golf so why do we need two? I think it is because the T-Roc is the sportier version but for me it still is not needed in my opinion with the Tiguan having a facelift and looking sportier. If you liked this video, then please do not forget to comment like and subscribe. Thank you.